if God were to give us every single detail of what is going on, we would not be able to carry a Bible. Too big. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are continuing actually with the story of Noah. So, last time we left off at verse number 12, I kind of explained to you uh, making it more practical than theoretical so this is not like a so-called like a preaching but it's explaining uh based on that video that i made uh, i keep mentioning that one it's gonna be up there on the card um for you to see and then i'm sure when you go there you might see the comment and so we're gonna, we're gonna see why I'm talking about that story, which is the story of Noah. Which is the story of Noah. Now, before we move on, don't forget to like um, and subscribe to this channel, and uh, don't forget to share it with your friends, and maybe that might help uh, uh, a an agnostic. Uh, to see a different perspective of the Bible. Maybe the Holy Spirit will change that person's heart. So you never know. Always good to share it. Now, we before we act, uh, actually, let's get to the topic of today, which is the Noah story. So we're going to continue to to this one. And now we're going to talk about, oh, actually, you know what? Now we're going to talk about the building of the ark. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. We saw that earlier in verse number 10, 10, no, 11. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Okay? So, now, it looks... For some reason, when you read that, it means that God is going to destroy men. Yes, He wants to destroy men. But it's not that, it's not because they are men He wants to destroy it. It's the fact that they are doing evil. Funny thing, He said the end of all flesh. So it's not just men, it's also animals. Funny thing, I don't, I don't understand. That's one thing I I want I, I need to start understanding. Whenever God would ask ask people to destroy an area, He said destroy men, women, children, even the animals. There is ah, oh, I, I I need to study that part so I can understand why. Cause um, but uh, for right now I'm not gonna get into that because I'm gonna actually take my time to study it as well. But He says. He, the end of all flesh is before him because because the earth is filled with violence through them. So he won't destroy, he, he won't, he's going to destroy the earth with them. Funny. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shall thou make in the ark and shall pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits. Now, I, I'm going to bring that up quickly. The ark uh, symbolizes something. Okay? So, even in, as we see, as we saw earlier in those other videos that you're going to see up there in the card, even though God decided to destroy the earth, He always... And that's why at the, at, the, at the end of the last video, I said, God does not destroy people. 
people choose to be destroyed. You see, God, even then He wants to destroy the earth and everything else, He still makes a way of escape. Whatever how big that boat was, it would have taken everybody on this earth if every man wanted to be saved. Okay? So, even when God says He wants to destroy the earth, He makes a way of escape. And the ark is that way of escape. Let's get into it right now. 300 cubits is uh, a cubit is actually, I would have to go and I think a cubit is like 1.5 foot long. Let me actually Google that one quickly because I think a cubit. Okay, a cubit is 45 point seventy two oh it's in eighteen inches okay so a cubit is eighteen inches long so imagine God is going to make three hundred cubit so three hundred times eighteen inches man whoo that's like four yeah three thousand x forty eight no, oh, that's 54, 5400 inches long, basically. Man, how many feet is that? Oh, it's enough. Yeah, it's big enough. So, yeah, so that would be 5400 inches, okay? And the breadth of it is 50 cubits, and the height of it, 30 cubits. Now, I'm going to put it that way though. Let me put it that way. Um, let's say the 5400 inches is not enough to carry every single person. I'm going to assume at that moment, God already knew how many would be saved. And so instead of making it very much a whole lot bigger he makes it enough for everyone who was going to be saved men and, and beast i'm thinking so it's about 450 feet long man that's big all right now here is the part that confuses a lot of people and I'm going to tell you why it actually confuses a lot of people. And this is one of the reasons why when it comes to Bible stories, um, I don't like watching movies. Because the movie will never give you the whole story. You know why? Because Satan controls the entertainment industry. And let's actually see what I'm actually talking about right now. Now, we know that the length, verse 15, the length is 300 cubits and the breadth is 50 cubits and the height is 30 cubits. A window shall thou make, all right, a window shall thou make to the ark and in a cubit shall thou finish it above and the door of the ark shall thou set in the side thereof with lower second and third stories shall i make it okay let's talk about that window part a lot of people have uh, a lot of people have that that um idea and this is where the movies come in to make it look what the, what actually the Bible is not saying. Let's see a picture of what people actually say all the time. Actually, what they actually show you when it comes to um, what the what it basically what the the arc looks like. Okay, let's see. usually get something like this 
the win the the arc is that big and there's like a tiny window okay they make it look like a tiny window funny people listen the bible never said as you can see the bible said the bible said a window shall thou make to the ark okay now when we first look at the word window first thing we're going to think of is oh it has to be it has to be like what we are used to like a little square stuff why because in our house we have windows right we have windows in our office and things like that but do you also notice that some buildings have windows all around the building meaning it's like it's made of glass it's a window glass all around the building it's not just like one little square but it's actually all around yes you see the bible said the bible said 18 inch 18 inch or, or a cubit shall thou finish it above okay it didn't say it's gonna be 18 inch square window never said that it didn't say 18 inch square window it said 18 inch shall thou make it above let's read because I, I, I was like that part doesn't that kind of kind of bothers me because while making we making it like it looks like it's a square when the bible never said it's a one cubit square let's read what one person actually talked about the ark the window of the ark let me see if you are, are you guys able to see this i'll make it a bit bigger just okay that's good so it's written by eric leons after informing noah about an upcoming worldwide flood and commanding him to build a massive boat of gopher wood approximately 450 feet long 75 feet wide and 4 feet 45 feet high god instructed him his faithful servant saying you shall make a window for the ark and you shall finish it to a cubit from above okay so we looked at right here it said verse 16 and the window a window shall thou make to the ark and the cubit shall thou finish it above okay so that means starting from above down you're gonna make a window right now let's go back to the reading upon reading about this window in the ark many people have contemplated its usefulness or lack thereof like somebody mentioned to me that last time um well how how did god feed the animals there are a lot of predators i'm like before sin every single animal ate herbs so if god is going to provide a way of, of escape for them he's gonna feed them however he wants or god can keep them satisfied for that long you know why because if you look at the story of Daniel, the Bible says that the, the, the lions, when Daniel was cast into the lions, they had not eaten. And when they when in the next, I mean, they had not eaten for two days. Why? Because the next morning, Daniel came out of the lion and they threw those other magistrates into the lions then because they had not eaten for three days. So that means the day he was at the lion, the lion in the lion's den, it was day number two they had not eaten. And for some reason, a hungry lion, you come in front of the hungry lion, he would not even think about anything else but eating. So how is it that the lions were there, many lions, then you cast into the lion's den, and they were hungry, yet they did not eat. You know why? because god shut the lion's mouth whatever god did to keep them from eating daniel 
he can do the same thing for those other predators in the ark from eating other animals. However he did that is not my business. If God didn't tell me how he did it, yeah, I could try and study and find out, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get to any result because he didn't reveal it to us. But it is possible that God fed them with herbs because they used to eat herbs before sin. Don't forget that part. Now, let's actually... Now, let's actually go back to the story. So, the wind, the thing that the, it tells us that people would think usually, people usually think the, it's actually a little square window that we have in our house or maybe in our, in our churches. But Papa never said it was one square window. So we made that. So that's why the movie comes in and makes it look like it's a one square window. But you get the point. It is not just one square window as you see in those movies. Now people are trying to make more pictures of it, but anyways. So, let's go back to the reading quickly. Upon reading, yeah, now, since historically, windows have served two basic purposes, that of lightning, of lighting and ventilation, Inquiring minds want to know what good one window eight, 18 inches square would be on an arc with a capacity of about 1,400,000 cubic feet full of animals. That's because they, did, they didn't think it was, they thought it was bigger than that. So, the one time editor of Journal biblical errancy he says how could so many creatures breathe with one small window opening which was closed for at least 190 days other skeptics have also have ridiculed the idea that sufficient ventilation for a whole arc could have come through this one window of course they have to be skeptic because how could just one window give ventilation. In fact, anyone even slightly familiar with animal house ventilation needs would, would be somewhat taken back by the apparent lack of airflow allowed for the, for the arc design. Unless God miraculously ventilated the arc, one little window on a three-story tall boat simply would not do it. And of course, God could, I mean, could God the Noah to build an ark with no window? Sure. And God would find a way to, to keep them alive. God can do that. But I don't think that was God's purpose this time. Let's keep on reading. Question regarding the window on Noah's ark and the problem of ventilation have persisted largely because the Hebrew word translated window appears only here in the Old Testament and linguistic scholars are unsure as to its exact meaning. So the window is still hard, right? However, according to Old Testament, commented Victor Hamilton, they do so on the basis of the world's possible connection with Saho Harim, noon, midday, thus an opening to let in the light of the day, basically. So Hebrew scholar William Jesenius defined Tzohar in its Hebrew lexicon as a simply light. And thou shalt make a light for the ark. He then surmised that this light represented not a window but windows plural. So windows plural. Okay. Uh, the ASV translator also referred light as best transition for Tzohar. Still, more recently, transition RSV, NIV, and ESV have used the word make a roof for the ark instead of make a window or light. Okay? So, such disagreement among translation is admittedly somewhat discouraging to the person who wants a definite answer as to how Soha should be translated. What is clear, however, is that the word translated window two chapters later 
which Noah is said to have opened, is translated from a different Hebrew word, Shalom, than what is used in chapter 6 verse 16. The word Shalom is the standard Hebrew word for window, yet interestingly, this is not the word used in chapter 6 verse 16. One wonders if these were two different entities or if in 8 verse 6, chapter 8 verse 6, Noah opened one of a plurality of aligned windows that God instructed him to make in verse six, chapter 6 verse 16. So basically, what they were saying is, um, did Noah, in verse number, in chapter 8 verse 16, um, did Noah just open one of the many windows that are in the ark? That could be a possibility. Let's move on. Another assumption often brought into the discussion regarding the window is that it was one square cubit. The Bible never said that, but people actually believe. That's why I talk about the movie one. The movie one shows it's only one window, one square window. The Bible never said it was one square window. Um, although many people have imagined Noah's Ark as having one small window, inches by inches by 18 inches square, the phrase "you shall finish it to a cubit from above" does not give the Bible reader any clear dimension of the opening, which is what I just mentioned earlier. The text just said that Noah was to finish it to a cubit from the top. If you look at it in a different translation. The truth is, the size of the lighting apparatus mentioned in this verse is unspecified. The text seems to indicate only the distance, the opening from the top of the arc, rather than the size, the actual size of the window. Thus, we cannot form a definitive picture of it, but we do know that nothing in the text warrants an, an, an interpretation that the window was just a small opening. A more probable theory, which aligns itself appropriately with the text, is that the opening described in 6 verse 16 extended around the ark's circumference 18 inches from the top of the ark with an under, under, undeterminable, undeterminable height. According to John Wood Morab, such an opening would have provided sufficient light and ventilation for the ark. So, there is more to it, but um, I'll let you guys um, read the rest of it, you know. So, okay, let's see. When reading the Bible, it is it always is important to remember that many details about the events it records often are not revealed to the to the reader. So, it is with the plans recorded in the Bible, recorded in Noah's Ark. As I mentioned, if God were to give us every single detail of what is going on, we would not be able to carry a Bible. Too big. So, I, w I wanted to just talk about this part of the story. Because people have that mindset, it's just a one little square window. Bible never said that. Oh, man, it's almost time. We're going to stop right here for this one because I'm going to try to keep it below 30 minutes. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to, yeah, we're going to stop. So, don't forget to, of course, like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, like the video and comment if you have a question. And I'll do my best after I'm done with the story to answer maybe questions. This was the Open Veil TV, back again with another video for you guys. Hope to see you guys again. Until then, bye for now.